Wisconsin. Mr. Grothman. Sure. A couple questions for Mr. Smith. Um, first of all, the information here says we have 415 patent examiners who are responsible for 93% or 43 percent of the unsupported hours. Um, but I want you to talk a little bit about the methodology as to whether you think that's a hard number or what it takes to be considered, I guess, not showing up. I mean, if, if I come in and I say I'm there for five minutes and document that I'm there for five minutes a day and then I go out golfing for the day, how do you, how do you record that? We did not take an overly harsh look at the time records that were, um, or the time periods that the employees actually claimed. If an employee swiped in and said they were there for eight hours, then we gave them credit for eight hours. If we were to take a more harsher view and go back and look at actual computer time spent, some type of activity on their computer, it would increase the number of unsupported hours for the on-campus employees by 327,000 unsupported hours. The PTO requires their employees to only swipe out between 10 p.m. and 5.30 a.m. So the employee could go in, swipe his badge, claim eight hours, not even turn on his computer at all, not even do any work, he could be another examiner A. So this and, just means that you were basically in the building, yes. not, not working, that is and, correct. and only in the building for five, five or ten minutes. But yet I affirmatively charged eight hours saying I was working on my computer. And even then, if you check that, could they be hard working at their computer playing video games or something? Potentially. Okay. Wow. It's shocking, 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 shocking. Well, I don't know. I guess it, I guess it confirms what a lot of people think about the Washington, D.C. Uh, work ethic for some people. Um, we'll give you a question here. Um, now, how many of these people have been prosecuted, even, even under your relatively low standards, but I realize you, you have time constraints yourself, under the relatively low standards that you're laying out here, how many have been prosecuted? We have presented these time and attendance cases to U.S. Attorney's Office in the past, and they have declined because they say that they have to actually go hour by hour and prove that the employee was not physically working, and uh, that's, a, that's a bit of a burden for them. So they decline all the TNA cases we present to them. So answer to your question, none. If I had just put a dollar amount, say, on when some of these guys or gals don't show up, uh, you know, you'd have to know how many hours they're not showing up, even assume, you know, who knows how hard they're working when they're in but how many hours they're not showing up and what their salary is. Can you guess on some of the most egregious cases over the last few years how much they're taking the government for? We found that Examiner A was taking the government on a conservative estimate for $25,000 just in 2014 alone. And the total of these 415 individuals we figured was about $18 million just in pay and benefits. Wow, I remember back home sometimes uh, people would be caught stealing and they wind up, you know, some public officials, and they'd wind up going to prison for years. So um, how many of these that you mentioned of the golden 415 we have here, how many have been subject to administrative action? I would have to defer that to PTO, sir. Okay, but nobody prosecuted. Um, why not? Can you tell us, are there any proposals out there that you're aware of floating through Congress that may do something to improve the uh, environment a little bit? Yes, sir. As I mentioned earlier, the, uh, we got word that both the House and the Senate have uh, approved the IG Empowerment Act, which exempts the IGs from the Computer Matching Act, so that if we were to do this exercise again, we would be able to uh, turn that information over to the agency to take administrative discipline. Do you have any reason why we wouldn't pass that bill? I don't currently see any reason. Uh, Siggy is in full support of that bill. Uh, however, I do understand there is a hold on that right now. Okay. Hmm. I should say I don't even know how that works. Do we know who's putting the hold on it? I don't recall the person's name, sir. Okay. We should we should talk about that a little bit and see uh, see who that is. Well, I have a little bit of time left, only a few seconds, and I know how much Chairman Meadows covets these seconds, so we'll we'll yield them back to him. I thank the gentleman from Wisconsin. Uh, the chair recognizes the gentleman from Georgia for five minutes.